Hey, what's going on, everyone? Man, biggest game of the year coming up against the Chiefs. <laughs> you know, our kryptonite for the past, I don't know, four years. And a lot of big battles going on. Everyone's talking about Patrick Mahomes versus Brock Purdy, Andy Reid versus Kyle Shanahan. There's a lot of matchups out there. But the biggest one, in my opinion, has got to be our boy, Dominic Pooney, going up against Chris Jones, man. And it's a heavyweight battle, man. It's like Mike Tyson versus Lennox Lewis, man. It's about, it's like, I have a fighter, undefeated, going up against another fighter. By the way, we're coming after, we're coming after you, Chantal. All, all that trash you and your trainer been talking. So it's a big matchup, man. It's a big matchup. And I'll say this right now. Our guards, the past, since 2017, they haven't been the greatest, man. Kyle Shanahan hasn't really put a lot of stock into getting great guards, you know. It's like you build a nice, beautiful house, but you have your friend Bobby coming over, you know, who's, you know, he, he does stuff, you know, but he'll do your flooring, but it's not going to be the best job, you know. That's how it is with you know, our guards, and for some reason, we just haven't invested a lot of, uh, you know, sources in in that position, but with Dominic Pooney, man, he, let's be honest, he's been our best guard that we've had under this regime, he's been our best, probably our second best, probably was probably Feliciano last year, but, I mean, Chris Jones, he's someone that, he's just destroyed us, like, he, I'll be 100% honest, he has destroyed us both Super Bowls. And even that game two years ago at Levi Stadium, he was wrecking havoc on Jimmy G and that offensive line. And 2019, man, Mike Persons, you know, a guy who was on his last leg, who I said, we got to upgrade that position. Never did. And Mike Persons just got destroyed, you know, by Chris Jones causing the interception all through that game, just killing our offensive line, just abusing them, abusing them. Um, and then obviously what happened last year with Spencer Burford, I mean, I don't want to get into that, but yeah, Chris Jones, uh, wrecking havoc all game long, especially on that last play, um, in OT. But I think we have a guy, man, who he, he's a stud, man. He's a stud. And regardless of what happens this game, cause it's going to be a tough, tough guy he's going up against, uh, he he's a guy that in the future you're looking at like, yeah, man, this guy has a chance of becoming a Pro Bowler. He might become a Pro Bowler this year. You know, last week against the Seahawks, he had the best graded PFF grade as far as the offense goes. I think 87.8 grade. He was absolutely unbelievable. And that, that run that Garando had, he freaking opened up a bit. It was like the Red Sea, man. It was like a Red Sea because Dominic Pony helped out with the guard and then he went straight to, I believe, a linebacker or a cornerback and just plowed his ass. So... The dude's awesome. Absolutely awesome. 200 and what was it? 200 and something pass protection uh, attempts. He's given up zero sacks. Zero sacks all season long. And I'm someone that's like infatuated with the O-line, you know, and I love guard position. I love watching college, watching maulers out there. And we just, we haven't had that guy, you know. And we finally, I think we have that dude. We have that dude that... Uh, could go in and be a, a rough rider. You know, he's a nice dude and all, but he has that nasty streak to him, which we just haven't seen. We have not seen under Kyle Shanahan. And to me, it's just, it's weird that we haven't really invested in that because we're such a, a run-oriented team that we just, yeah, well, it's fine. We'll just pick someone off the street, you know. We'll just get this guy, get that guy. And it's been, it's it's weird. You know, it's kind of weird. But, I mean, we we I think we hit gold. I think we hit gold in that third-round pick. We got Pooney. And I don't know what's going to happen this week, but, you know, Chris Jones, he's he's still a freak, man. I think he has three sacks this year, still causes a lot of pressure, hasn't lost a step. He's 30 years old, and you would think maybe he might get going on a decline, but it doesn't show it, doesn't show it dude. It hasn't shown at all going up against Pooney, who is starting to enter his prime. Remember, he stayed quite a few years at, uh, in college, transferred to Kansas. Um, he's 24 years old. So right now he's 
about to enter his prime. Probably by next year, he'll he'll have, be in his prime. But right now, what he's doing, he's looking amazing. Even you have guys like Chad Ochocinco on his show talking about Dominic Booney, baby. Like, he's getting pumped up. So there's a lot of guys. Brian Baldinger, he's out there. He's been preaching Dominic Booney since... Um, preseason since august he's been making videos talking about how good this uh, rookie looks and he's been our best rookie i know last week everyone wanted to talk about all these other rookies that did great by the way who i'm in love with uh renardo green mustafa um who else came out in there and played uh bethune played a little bit i believe was, was special teams um but we're talking about all these other rookies like dude the guy we need to be talking about is dominic Pooney. i know that he's been starting and we're like we're kind of taking that for granted but his last week against the Seahawks, that was his best game. Like that was his best game by far this season. The what the things that he was doing, the holes that he was opening up. It's like last year, the last few years, we've been trying to run to the right. Can't do it. It's like it's like it's like Mike Singletary. Can't do it. Can't coach him. Can't do it. Whatever the heck he was saying that year. It's like we couldn't do it, but now we could run to the right with success. You know, like, oh, that's our go-to. Like, that's our go-to running to the right. And imagine have check this out. Having Dominic Pooney there, it, having the success running the ball, and then getting Christian McCaffrey back. Like, that's exciting to me because I know Christian, it was hard running to the right, man. Last year with the best offensive player of the year. Imagine these holes now. Imagine these holes now that Christian is going to be able to have, what he could do. I'm just saying, man. I, I love it, man. I love it. And it's just, it's going to be such a. A big matchup, man. I that's what I'm gonna be watching the whole game, man. That's what I'm gonna be watching. Dominic Pooney, uh, when he has his one on ones with uh Jones, can he hold up? Can he give Brock Purdy time? Because I think if he gives him time, because last year in the Super Bowl, man, Brock went, let's well, go watch that game, rewatch that game. Brock was freaking he had a dude in his face almost every play, it seemed like. Almost every play it seemed like he had a dude in his face. We've upgraded now. We've upgraded now and who knows? We are hearing John Feliciano saying he's back. Will Kyle have the balls to be like, dude, John Feliciano, he was our second best offensive line, at least statistically, PFF-wise, last year. Are you going to bring him back in, put him at center, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, shoot, what's our weakness now? It's just right tackle. Colin McKibbin, that's the only one. That's scary, man. That pumps me up. Like, oh, shoot. We could have, from last year, one of the worst offensive lines out there to this year, you know, getting better as the season goes on. And I'll take that all day week. And that, that excites me, man. Because, you know, let's be real. 2019, well, actually, 2019 wasn't that bad of an offensive line. But last year, man, yeah, it was, it was rough. It was rough, man. So. We'll see how it goes, man. If if Pooney could hold his ground, I'm not saying just be dominant. It's not gonna happen, man. I don't. I don't know. I just haven't seen it this year. I haven't seen in the past few years where a dude's like, yeah, I handled Chris Jones, you know. But if he could go and hold his own, that's what I'm looking for. Hold your own, you know. If you give up a sack, fudge, whatever, you know. It sucks. You give up your first sack ever. But if you give up a sack, but you hold your own in other plays, you're pushing them back, you're getting them tired, um, you're using your youth against the veteran, opening up some holes, opening up some holes, we'll take that, man, we'll take that, I'll take him over Mike Persons every, any day, I'll take him over Spencer Burford any day, you know, and I think he's an upgrade from Feliciano, who I like a lot, put Feliciano at center, whoo, I think now we're talking, baby, I think we're talking, you know, I, <laughs> it's like that movie, what's that movie, uh, uh, where it's like, show me the money. It was yeah, I can't think of that movie, man. But uh, yeah, like we gotta have an O line, man. We gotta have the O line clicking uh, on all cylinders uh, against this team because this team is like we can't beat this this team, man. Like we've tried, we've had three attempts in the past what four years. Oh, man, like I want to beat this team, man. I think it starts with the O line. I give Brock Purdy some protection, give him time to throw. And I think we have a chance, man. I think I think we have a chance. We have guys coming back. And last week was probably our best week as a whole, you know, at home too. So I know Patrick Mahomes, I know Andy Reid's amazing after coming off bye weeks. But we played Thursday, so we had an extra three days too. So it's kind of either they have four-day advantage on us. But 
I mean, I think we have a chance, man. We have a chance. I think last year, too, when we played the Chiefs, we were coming off a bye, too. All right, though, the two years ago when we played them in the regular season, we were coming off a bye, and everyone was all pumped up, you know. I remember Jimmy Ward was talking trash, all this stuff. I was like, I don't know if we should be doing that. Um, our guys coming back. And then we just freaking lay an egg and get our ass whipped <laughs> at Levi Stadium in front of all the Hall of Famers, Joe Montana, all those guys were there. Roger Cray, I remember. Who else? The whole, all, Jerry Rice is always there, but we had like it was like alumni day, and we just got embarrassed uh, two years ago at Levi. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully um, with this upgrade right here with Dominic Pooney in there, uh, he could shed some light. He could bring some light on this team um, because we're going to need it. We're going to need every dude to be stepping up. And what a matchup it's going to be, man. It's a heavyweight battle, man. It's it's a heavyweight battle. Um, Ali Frazier, Foreman Ali, Wilder Fury, Usek Fury. I mean, come on, baby. It's going to be great. But that's what I got, man. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment down below. How do you think Dominic Pooney is going to hold up? Is he going to give up his first sack of the season? Let me know down below. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.